Here we go. We're going to give you what you've been waiting for. Brain food. When's the last time you fed your brain? When's the last time you fed your glands? We know you feed your body all the time. But when's the last time you fed this thing? And that's what we're going to show you today. This is a simple recipe to a more complicated recipe, but the first recipe I'm going to show you is uh, a very basic recipe on how to be able to stimulate all the brain chemicals in your mind. Remember, your mind has a pharmaceutical warehouse in it to be able to stimulate everything that you need to be able to have happiness, clarity, and a lot of inspiration. And that's what I'm going to show you here. This is a chocolate, I call the chocolate elixir of the mind. Every time I do a lecture, I always, I'm famous for doing this. Everybody knows when I'm going to do a lecture, I bring a huge bowl of my famous chocolate. And everyone says, how did you make that chocolate? Because what it does is it makes everybody at the end of their seat want more. Their heart's open. Their mind has finally been fed some food, not their body but they're mine. So we're going to show you certain types of, of secrets on how to make this chocolate elixir. Now the sugars that you're going to use can be a variety of sugars. Second, we're going to use, and we'll go over those sugars. Second, we're going to have chocolate. We're going to have a flavorful chocolate, that's the cacao powder, and we're going to use the nibs which are the ground up solid part of the cacao. And this is Arriba Nacional cacao. And it's really very special to use real chocolate. Remember, most people have never even had real chocolate. And once you have it, you wonder why they always say that a woman doesn't need a man. All she needs is real chocolate. Not fake chocolate, because it doesn't work. Chocolate has phenylethylamine in it, the good stuff. And you'll notice that this says on it, Arriba Nacional. This is a type of chocolate that is not genetically modified. These trees are very old that they come out of Ecuador and they grow these at the higher elevations and they're full of this, the stimulation of, of what you would call the love molecule. It stimulates your heart. You'll see when you actually take this. It stimulates your heart, not in, in contractions, but it stimulates it in love. That's why they call it, look it up, phenylethylamine or PEA, the love molecule. This is the paste. So we use the nibs, we use the chocolate powder, and the powder, remember, has 26% fat in it, and the paste is stone ground because that's got a lot of the power in it. And uh, the next ingredient list here is minerals. Minerals is very important. Remember, this is brain food. And you're going to mix things with the chocolate. And the chocolate needs MAO inhibitors, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, to make it so you can go to the brain. MAO is a, a specialized type of reaction. It's a, a, a type of situation that when you mix this with certain foods, then it bypasses breaking down in the gut wall and it goes right to the brain. So the principal idea here is to use certain sugars, which we'll go over. The sugars, remember, I try to use zero calorie sugars like stevia. Uh, you can use real agave. I only use the clear agave, if any. It's 50% inulin. This is the OGO brand. And you can get all these off the Earthshift project. Uh, Earth Earthshift, excuse me, products website, but we also have an Earthshift project too, which is a community. Get those mixed up a little bit. You can use also mineralized palm sugar, and mineralized palm sugar is not dead sugar. It's mineralized. Um, it makes it taste really caramely and sweet too. And you can use other types of sweeteners like lacuma and or mesquite pod. And each one of these have a story to them, like the mesquite pod is a staple of the Hopis. The lacuma is a fruit and it tastes like cookie dough. And you can stay away from sugars and or you can have sugars. Personally, I like to try to wean myself down in the sugar load, but depending on who's gonna have this chocolate, again, it's good to put a little sugar in it if you like to, to give it that super taste so everybody will like it. I just use stevia. And most of the time, I just have cacao paste, and I'll just 
chew on a piece of banana, but that's only a little bit of the food for the brain. Once I show you the rest of the, the, the ingredients, you'll see why. Remember, anything that you take with cacao, if you mix it with an MAO, it takes it to the brain and it feeds it. And we'll show you some of the different extracts that we use. Uh, that's on our super formula, but we're just gonna go over the basic formula. Sugar, cacao or chocolate, minerals, okay? Himalayan salt, this is in our Soleil solution. Uh, look up how to make that. This is a Soleil 26% salt, and you're gonna mix this salt with uh, the cacao, but why would you mix this? Remember again, it's not just because of the flavor. This has conductivity to it, and conductivity is really smart because that's what your brain is. It's a sort of a radio receiver for consciousness or awareness. So what this does is it sort of like vroom, starts up the brain. So we're putting in living silica. Your brain's made up of a lot of silica, and so feed it what it needs. We also put in some ionic minerals, and I also put in about 15 drops or so of fulvic acid to make it so everything mixes around. And our fulvic here is about a 2.2 pH. Most of the fulvics that you'll buy, they're just a very diluted down version. So be careful on what you buy. Remember, this is the age of information, but it's also the age of disinformation. So you have to really check around and, and get a lot of the information from people who are playing in this game and not a lot of people sometimes that are just selling you something to sell you because they found a new game to, you know, to find a niche to make some money. Health is a very confusing thing, so that's why we do these videos, so you can learn from other people that have been doing this. I've been doing this for years, and if you're just jumping into this, this gives you a kickstart to be able to start your own, do it any way you want to, but this is the way I found that really stimulates the brain. Remember, the mind and the body, they're two different parts here. So what this does is it stimulates eight cycles per second, which is the heart, and it stimulates the mind, which is 12 and 13 cycles. Once you get those in tandem, then you get this eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 cycles, which is a lot of motion, a lot of creativity, a lot of focus. Now, oils. Oils are very important in this. You can't just have the cacao by itself. You can't have the sugar by itself. You can't have the minerals by itself. You're trying to get all of this stuff to go up into the brain. That's brain food. So we use a variety of different oils you can use. I like personally just using coconut oil, cacao butter, and uh, hemp seeds are really good to use because of the oils. They're different types of oils. Hemp seed oil. This is uh, Jeff's Best Hemp. It's a really good version. There's a lot of them. You'll notice glass. A lot of them are, are in, in very uh, not good packaging and the packaging that we're trying to get in is like this plastic here is HDPE number two so don't throw the containers away when you finish this is our coconut oil avocado oil really special you can make this like I said with a variety of oils you run out of other oils use organic olive oil now this is our basic recipe remember we have sugars we're gonna mix we're gonna mix our cacao and we're gonna mix our minerals and we're gonna mix our oils. You mix all that up together and you've got yourself the simple version. It's very, very easy to make. Now, the version that I always get asked to make or tell my, my elixir recipe is the one that I give at my lectures. We use a lot of these extracts. One is tribulus. Tribulus is to stimulate your hormones. It stimulates your glands. It's got certain types of oils called saponins. And these are things that are like hydraulic fluid for your glands. Green bean coffee extract. Very smart. We're trying to give you superpower to the mind without giving you agitity. Okay, we're trying to really make you feel power without stress holy basil holy moly okay these are types of of very high level cold extract herbs and they actually stimulate your glands alma extract we could talk about all this stuff for hours but you can look up on the internet and show what it does this is 
This is a called an Indian gooseberry. These are loaded full of very high level nutrients. I use these to feed the glands. This is Makuna. Makuna is very smart. I put this in my tea and I always put it in chocolate because this is one of the secret ingredients to stimulate the brain. Makuna has levodopamine in it. It has DMT. It has different types of things that actually your brain produces, but it just doesn't actually maybe produce them in significant amounts. When you go to sleep at night, remember your brain dreams. And a lot of people don't dream anymore is because their, their brain doesn't have what it takes to make these neurochemicals. A lot of people are on Prozac, Zoloft, Paxil. 50 million people in the United States are on antidepressants. One of the things that I was uh, working with several different doctors and scientists is actually to be able to, to mix some of the uh, MAO inhibitors with the chocolate to be able to, to take some of these herbs and put them into the mind and it solved depression. Nine out of ten people that were taking this said, why would I want to take these pills when I can just take a natural source to not give your brain chemicals but to actually stimulate your brain to have an equanimity or actually have everything so it functions correctly. And remember, in order for you to be able to make your chemicals in your brain work, you do have to exercise. There's no free ride here. And most people are actually sedentary, and that's the reason being why we have a decrease in the amount of neuroactivity in our minds. So going to uh, really see one last thing on our recipe here is to have crunch. And we'll put this whole recipe together here. I use carrots very smart to make crunchies. You could make, uh, you can put in almonds, pasteurized, no, try to get unpasteurized, okay? Because most of the almonds you'll see are pasteurized. And you're trying to eat things that have still a live ability. And try to always soak your nuts, as they say. Soak your nuts. If you don't, it's not smart because you'll get stomach bloating. And I soak them in high alkaline, water and if I don't have uh, any high alkaline water you use baking soda to be able to help wash and one of the best things to use is just regular distilled water or regular spring water and I put in about 25 drops of fulvic acid and let them sit in there for an hour and the fulvic acid disassociates the cadmium shell on all the nuts you don't have to throw that water out either you can keep on using it four or five times uh, that's our basic chocolate recipe and as I start to to make this recipe on the next video I'm gonna throw in some other things to finish up the the other secrets that uh, I'll share with you on the next part of the video okay next part of the video is to make the recipe important reminder all information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do recommend the use of mineral deficient foods drugs or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein.